Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. In today's video, we will merge convenience with security by using Samsung Pass. So what exactly is Samsung Pass? Samsung Pass is a way that you're able to quickly sign into your online accounts using your biometrics instead of entering your username and password. Now, if you're anything like me, you have a whole bunch of different websites you go to, you have a whole bunch of different applications, but sometimes you can never exactly remember what was the password used for this website or that application. Was there a symbol? Was there a capital letter, a number? Or you just want the convenience of logging in extremely fast because sometimes you also like to sign out when you're done using your session. So you can see here, I do have the Samsung Pass application on my home screen. You might not see that there, but this is how you're able to turn it on and get this thing activated. Pull down your notifications panel, head over into your settings, and this is where you go to lock screen and security. Now, underneath all these different security options here, what you do want to turn on is your intelligent scan. If you have the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, the biometrics of intelligent scan is amazing. It mixes the face recognition along with the iris scanner, and it's able to use both of them at the exact same time, but it, whichever one it recognizes first is how it's able to unlock your phone. Now with Samsung Pass, you do wanna use the iris scanner. This one is the most secure way you're able to unlock your phone. So here I have two different things saved inside of my Samsung Pass. This one right over here is for a Google website, and this one is the Snapchat application. Now I do wanna mention, if you are wanting to use your Samsung Pass to remember your passwords and usernames on a website, you do have to use the Samsung internet. This will not be able to work on the Chrome application. Now down over here, you see that I have my auto fill for my applications for Snapchat. Let's move right over into Snapchat and let me show you what this looks like when you have something stored. Now, right now I am not logged in to Snapchat and the moment you hit on login, you have the option right here for Samsung Pass. Would you like it to autofill with Samsung Pass? Now, again, I don't have to remember my username or password. I just have to use my biometrics and there we go with my iris scanner. It auto filled it in for me. Now I just hit on login and I'm already done. Now, how exactly do you set this up? Now, let's say that you want to go over and you want to set this up for Twitter. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over into Twitter and you're going to click on log in. Now, once you've typed in your username as well as password, and you click on the login information, you'll have an option popping up on the very bottom asking you to save username and password to autofill with Samsung Pass. Now, once you click on save and now once you've gone through and you clicked on the autofill for the Samsung Pass, the next time that you go over into your Twitter, if you are logged out, you are able to hit on that login information. And you can see here you can fill it in with the Samsung Pass. And once you go right over here again, over into your iris, it fills it all out for you one more time and you click on login. Now that is how you're able to set up your Samsung Pass for a application. Now, if you do have a Twitter account and you're not following me just yet, make sure you head over into Twitter, search for Jimmy as promo and give me a follow. So now that you know what this looks like with a application, how to set it up with an application, now let's head over into a website. So again, you're not able to use the Chrome internet browser. You are able to use the normal internet browser that is made by Samsung. Now the website here that we're gonna check out for this example is going to be Netflix. So let's head over and let's click on the sign in. Now, again, once you have filled in your information for your email as well as password, you're gonna go over here and click on the sign in information. Now, when you're using a website, this will be the pop-up that you'll see here. Instead of it being on the very bottom with inside the application, it'll be here for the internet browser. And this is where you have the option. This includes username and passwords for websites. Sign in using biometrics via Samsung Pass. So I'm gonna click on remember. So now that this thing is remembered, I did log out. Once you click on the sign in information, now you're gonna have the option right here that you're able to use Samsung Pass. So the moment that you move over and you check out the website of the one that you just got done doing, it automatically filled it in and it signed me in. So this is the security and the convenience of using Samsung Pass. Now that we've added in those two additional one of them being an application, the other one being a website. Let's move back over into Samsung Pass and see exactly what it looks like. Now here you can see that there is going to be the additional one right over here for Netflix, for the internet, as well as the Twitter account right over here. Now again, if you forget what you're using for any type of your passwords or anything else, you do have the option right here for show password and it also has the web, web address. So if one of your person inside of your family is using also Netflix with you and they don't remember what the password is, maybe you don't remember what the password is, but you have logged in and you have have it saved. Now that is where you're able to do a little copy and paste, send it over to your family member. Now they're able to get in the application 
notification as well. So I hope that you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also write a comment below the video if this is something that you guys are using or you will about to use this Samsung Pass. Now I do have to say, I love this feature is one of those things that it's a container of passwords and usernames that now I don't have to get confused or forget anything of my credentials of any website and application. Now again, give this thing a huge thumbs up also. Don't forget to hit on subscribe right below the video or you can hit subscribe right over here. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.